well, to summarize the interview, um, what is your vision for GP Corp and your dream? And the final message to our audience about Bahrain. Well, my vision for GP Corp is for it to become the most comfortable investment bank that you can invest in. Uh, the most client and investor friendly investment bank that you can invest in. I want it to be the most diligent and stringent in its screening process and investment orientation. And I want it to be global. Mm -hmm. uh, investment banks are client centric, investor centric. And if I'm going to focus on my strategic growth, neglecting my investor orientation, I won't grow. I have to be investor centric. I have to put my investors ahead of, of myself uh, because without them, I will not have any products to sell. Any, any, anybody to sell my products to. Uh, at the same token, which we are str strictly and stringently working on screening and, and finding the right opportunities for our investors, we're also at the same time catering, taking care of, informing and educating our investors. GB Corp, is, GB Corp, what the name Global Bank Corp signifies, is going to be a, a global bank at one stage during its growth peak. Uh, the current economic climate is a, is a difficult climate, but I think once we're out of this wave, GB Corp is going to continue pursuing its, its global growth. Uh, we have very strong affiliations in the uh, in, in Far East, in America, and those are going to be two areas which we are going to have a position in. And, uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, having amended and uh, implemented our vision, we're going to end up listing the company whereby we can get the public to invest in our institution. You represent, I mean, the, the young generation of Barini annual uh, top managers, and so uh, you, you represent the future. So I would like to know what's, how you see this future, the one that you're going to be one of the main participants. So how, how is it going to be? Bahrain is very human-centric. Uh, like I was explaining earlier, it is a country which people are invested in and the families raise their kids, like I said, to not to inherit, but to earn a career. And, uh, and that is the core infrastructure behind any economy. Real estate can boom and bust. Industrial sector can boom and bust. Every sector can boom and bust. The only sector which can boom and bust is a human capital sector, because they are adaptive and they can adapt as long as they have the basic intellectual property within their head. And Bahrain has invested quite a lot into its people. Where one of the unique attribute of Bahrain and aspect of Bahrain is that our people work in every sector. Bahrainis are proud to work. They're willing to work. May it be at a gas station, or a McDonald's, or a bank, or a cab. And that's where we've become very human-centric. So any company in the world which wants to shift to Bahrain, the main challenge in a lot of Middle Eastern countries is human capital. Bahrain has it. And uh, you know, His uh, Highness Sheikh Salman, the Crown Prince and Deputy King and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, has put a very, very strong initiative in creating unique, excelling, educated Bahrainis through a scholarship program. And these students are going to Duke, to Harvard, to top schools around the world. They're going to come back here and serve their country overall to make it a, an economic hub. Because what's an economic hub? Without people, you don't have an economy. And that's where our focus is. And I think Bahrain is doing a very good job by creating a very business-friendly environment where people can come and interact with, with a business-friendly people.